Hi, everybody. It's Jason Falls. I'm the executive producer of the Marketing Podcast Network, and we have welcomed a new sponsor recently, Memento.fm, which is an AI-driven tool which will ingest your audio or video, so your podcasts or your corporate videos or whatever, um, and will use AI to analyze the audio and video or video um, and pull out segments automatically that you can sort of curate and you know, make sure that it's right and correct all of the, the text because it'll do a transcription and all that. And output quick uh, social videos on Instagram Reels, uh, you know, even a video clip that you would put on LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram uh, or even YouTube Shorts to promote that video. So it's a faster, easier way to create social promos, which is primarily how I use it and how we're testing it with the Marketing Podcast Network. But you can use the concept to do a bunch of different things. And I want to show you a few of those things today so that you see why we've partnered with Memento.fm, why we're using it, and why we like the tool so much. And, of course, we would love for you to try it. So if you click that bit.ly link down uh, in the ca uh, caption area around this post or on our website, uh, which is a bit.ly slash Memento MPN, uh, then you can sign up and get a little discount, get a free trial, get a discount once you uh, actually pay for uh, the platform. And that will sort of let Memento know that the Marketing Podcast Network sent you there. So let's jump into the tool now. I'm going to show you how I use Memento with uh, my podcast, Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast, which is also on MPN. So once I've logged in and uh, I can upload a video or audio file, or I can actually associate uh, my account with a YouTube channel or a podcast RSS feed if I'm just doing audio. Uh, but I like to upload the native file. I like to be able to work from the native file. So you can see that I've done that here with several episodes. Um, and uh, one of the episodes that I've uh, just recently done is this one with Monique Russell. So let's view the episode. When you get into sort of the main management solution tool here in Memento.fm, it does several things. Obviously, you've got a transcript right here in the middle. You can download that transcript. Uh, you can actually go in and uh, edit it as well uh, in the various places uh, that you're going to be using it. Um, you have down the side here moments, segments, titles, show notes, and page. And all of this can be driven by AI. In fact, suggestions are already there for you. So if I want to let it just uh, recommend titles for my episode, I can go over here. And I've already plugged the one in that I wrote. But look at all the different suggestions here. It's basically consumed the content and said, hey, this is about diversity, communication, and marketing insights with Monique Russell, which is not a bad title for this particular uh, podcast episode. So I've got a bunch of titles like this, and I can give it feedback by hiding, asking for more suggestions like this, or I can just click use that title. Um, I can also, the uh, uh, AI tool with Memento.fm produces show notes. And what I love about this is I've got full show notes is kind of selected by default. So all of these things, summary, chapters, takeaways, people mentioned, links, topics of things, they are all automatically dumped into essentially a text file that I can go in and edit. Or I can say, you know what, I only want, I want the summary um, and I just want to pull that out by itself, right? Or I can say, hey, I just want a list of the people mentioned. And in this particular episode, we didn't mention a whole lot of people. I may have mentioned her, uh, Dr. Lorenzo Hughes. <laughs> I think I referred to myself as Uncle Jason at one point. So yeah, it pulls out the people mentioned. And you can, of course, edit that, all that good stuff. So you can make a very robust set of show notes that you don't have to type. You don't even have to go through and listen to the episode. It's going to pull out those chapters, those little sections for you. So that's under show notes. Uh, Memento.fm will actually, once you get all your files kind of finished and saved, it'll actually produce a page for you uh, that can, uh, you know, you can share this link with folks. So you actually don't have to necessarily have a page on your website. We certainly recommend that you do, but it produces a nice little shareable link for you once you get all this in here. And that's going to, uh, that's the first frame of my video, which starts out black. So uh, I can go in and, and make sure that I have a thumbnail in there a little bit later. Um, now, your moments and segments. The moments is where I spend most of my time because this is where um, it has gone through the AI and said, hey, we think this 29-second segment here on corporate workshops and speaking engagements is may potentially a share-worthy worthy moment. 
So let's go check that out. If I click on it, it'll navigate me down to that point in the transcript and I can read it. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I've done quite a bit of speaking myself over the years, or I can actually play it. I can come down here in the player or click the preview. Yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting. I've, I've done quite a bit of speaking myself over the years, but I've, so you can actually see and preview what the video, and if it's just audio, it'll just give you a little audio box here, but you can see or listen to that clip. If you think that clip in its entirety, and if, if you say, oh, it, it missed this sentence up here, this sentence needs to be in it. So you can actually drag to the first word there and it changes what clip it's going to pull out. You can actually change the end as well. But if you think that that is good enough for one of your social videos, once you've seen it, you can simply hit create video and then memento.fm is going to give you the option to pick portrait, landscape, or square templates. Let's say I'm going to do this one for LinkedIn. So I'll click uh, landscape to go over here and look at LinkedIn templates. And then a bunch of pre-designed templates will pop up. The video eventually will populate in there so you can see it. But let's say that I really feel like this particular template is good. Just kind of looking at the framework and everything. And you're going to be able to customize and edit this as well. So I'm going to hit use template. You can start to see the video pop in there. Here's the text that I've pulled out. My video is looking a little, a uh, little odd here. So this might not be the best template for me. I might want to go pick another one, uh, but let's see what we can do here. Um, it's using the original video and I can actually zoom out. Look at that. So I can make it fit in the box the way I want it to. I'll blow it up a little bit. I can actually move it left, right. I can move it up and down a little bit as well. Uh, so that's the video. Now, if I want to associate an image with this particular episode, um, then I can come over and grab an image. I'm just going to grab the URL sort of off camera here of uh, my uh, Winfluence's cover art, paste that in there. And now all of a sudden here, I've got my Winfluence cover art image at the bottom. So that's under general. So I'm done with that tab background. Ooh, let's say I want to put my Winfluence blue splash behind everything so that it sort of looks very branded. So I'm going to put a background image in there and there's my blue splash. How about that? So I'm done with that one titles. I can change, um, you know, the fonts that I'm using here. I like to use Oswald for mine. I can make that headline a little bit bigger. Look at that. Um, I can change the colors, of course. I don't want to because they're kind of what I want right now. Uh, but I can change the colors. I can change the positioning as well. Uh, I can add a stroke to the text, all sorts of other things there to format the title. My captions, I also want to make sure that they're in a good font, but I don't want it in my headline font. So I'm going to put it in, uh, let's say, Open Sans for now. I can blow it up just a little bit. Um, and if I want to see what that looks like in action, just hit your play button. A lot of volunteering, go. a lot of different training. And I so now you can see that there's a little bit of a contrast issue there. I may want to polish that up, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to leave that where it is for the time being. So now I'm done with my captions. They're what I want them to be. Your caption animations, you can just change it so that everything is visible all at once. It'll highlight words as it go, goes along, or it'll hide the words that until it gets to them. You can actually change those text colors as well, but I'm going to leave those alone for now like this. Now your footer, that's where your Winfluence thing, but it says my uploads here. So let's change that and make sure that people know, Hey, this is Winfluence and it's got the title of my episode. So that's how I want it. That's kind of nice. The border around this, um, I, you know, that's a, the gray color. I can say, you know what, let's make that black. Let's, uh, which is going to be all zeros, right? Make that black. That looks a little bit more strong, or I can actually, you know, change it to, uh, let me grab my little blue. A uh, hex key for that. I can make it blue. There we go. So that's more my brand blue. Um, and I can, of course, change the width a little bit. Okay. Uh, my branding, I've already, uh, I can actually uh, put images in here. I'm going to grab the uh, uh, image of my cover art real quickly. I'm just using the URL to where I have that on my website. I'm going to paste that in here just so you can see what happens when you turn it on. Uh, so it comes up really big, but you know, again, you can use this down here to say, well, let's zoom out a little bit. So if I want to put that, maybe, well, let's put it over here uh, in kind of the middle. Let's bring it up a little bit. 
maybe at the very top. Now all of a sudden I've got, you know, another element of branding on there. Though this isn't, you know, designed in, in immaculately well here, but it I it have I have the option to move that around. So I can maybe put it down here in the lower corner. Let's do that. And we'll do this. Maybe bring it up just a touch. Over just a touch. There we go. So now I've got an additional element of branding. I've got another image that I could put in there too, where I could upload an image and do another image there as well. And of course, if you don't want a square, you can use a transparent, you know, ping PNG file, uh, and and then your image will be whatever shape you want it to be. For the time being, though, I'm going to take that out because I kind of have my branding over here. I like the way it's looking. I'm going to move that down. Uh, your outro you can have, and you can actually fast forward your video here to the very end, and there'll be a few seconds on the end where it'll give you an outro. Well, they've got a couple options for calls to action. Continue watching on YouTube. Now, remember, this is a video, so it's not clickable. So it's not a link that you're putting in here to, uh, to anything. What I like to do is use one of the podcast uh, platform lists so that I encourage people to go subscribe uh, to the podcast. Again, it's got my uploads in here as default, so I'm just going to change that to Winfluence. And I can make that last for three seconds. I can make it last for 10 seconds. Um, this particular video is 43 seconds long. If you are trying to do YouTube shorts or some of the different social uh, content clips that are limited by 60 seconds, just keep that in mind. If you're going to change the duration of your ending, you're going to change the length of your video. So just keep that in mind. And then in the main video, if I scroll back here a little bit, there's Made with Memento branding, which I'm sure the Memento folks would appreciate it if you leave that there so that people know more about them. But you always have the option to take the watermark off. So now I've got this produced video. Let's go back and look for at it for a couple of seconds to make sure it looks like what I want it to look like. I did a lot of volunteering, a lot of different training, and I looks learned good. what Sounds I loved good. and what I didn't like about having a communications freelance. So now I've taken however long this was. I don't know what the recording uh, time is right now, but what, two, three, four minutes? And all I need to do is click download. And it will say your video is being prepared for download. You'll get an email notification uh, when it's done, or you can go back and click on your social tab to pull that video down. So that is the way that I use uh, Memento to do my little short promotional clips for Instagram Reels, for YouTube Shorts. Sometimes I post these types of content on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn as well. Um, but also I wanted to make sure that you saw a couple of other things that memento.fm can do, uh, to help you promote your content and edit and produce these types of quick videos to, to share it. So let's go back to the main page. So I'm back on the main page with this episode. I've got my moments. I real, really quickly, these moments are meant to be under 60 seconds, specifically for those short social clips. Segments is the same thing, only longer. It can be five, 10 minute, maybe, you know, 15 minute videos. Um, and they are segments like you would, you know, take a two minute, you know, snort of sni sort of snippet out of your video and put it on YouTube. Like maybe you've got a YouTube series of abbreviated videos and then you, your call to action there is to click through to the full video or to the main you know, uh, you know, file so that they can see the whole thing. And it's the same concept as moments. You can go down and say, okay, we're going to talk about creating awareness to prevent division, misunderstandings between, and it looks like a little bit of buggy here. This is a brand new tool. Now, remember, you're going to see some bugs because this is, this tool is very young. And so actually all the branding that we just saw a second ago is actually just came out this last week. So that was all new. I hadn't even played with it yet. Um, so, um, there's going to be a couple of bugs here and there. That's what, you know, the, the support and the help links are for, let them know the team's pretty responsive. Um, uh, but I just clicked on this creating awareness, hoping it would take me there and it didn't. So I'm just going to scroll down and find it. I know it's here. I just need to go find it. So what was the last one we came across? There's tech company. So it's next and I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. And here it is creating awareness to so now I can do the same thing and look at this segment. And if I like that, I can create a longer form video that will be good for YouTube. The last thing I wanted to show you very quickly, and I think you've probably played around with ChatGPT and some other uh, generative AI tools, but uh, Memento.fm also has a writing assistant uh, baked into it. 
You can ask it questions here, uh, and it gives you some suggestions for promotions. You know, say write a promo post for social, write a five ways list article. So it'll write long form content for you. Uh, you also, we've already seen the show notes, uh, but it'll also do some searches for you. It'll refine things for you. Um, you can actually click the button to suggest AI promotional tips for this uh, as well. So they've got AI baked into the tool so that you can use generative AI to not only edit your videos down using this system, which finds them, helps you isolate them, and quickly kick out a promotional video, but then you also have the ability to have it write some caption suggestions for you. Now, as a responsible marketer, I think I need to remind everyone, generative AI tools like what Memento FM has, like ChatGPT, are really good for making suggestions. I would never recommend anyone copy and paste, right? You need to put that you know, human touch, your own empathy, your own ability to know your audience, to know your tone of voice and whatnot. Edit and, and revise. It's going to get you 80 to 90% of the way there. It's going to save you a ton of time in writing uh, original content. But you can take its original AI-generated content and put your tone of voice and personality and brand voice into it before you use that on your social channels. So that's why uh, we were very enthusiastic about bringing Memento.fm into the fold as a partner and a sponsor of the Marketing Podcast Network. We hope that you uh, click through to bit.ly slash Memento. I'm sorry, bit.ly slash Memento MPN uh, so that you can try. If you use that link, we'll just get credit. They'll know that we sent that traffic to them. And so we certainly appreciate you doing that for us. So go try it out. It's a great AI tool. We like it. I personally am using it uh, to do my social promos with uh, Winfluence, the Influence Marketing Podcast. I am a paid subscriber. I've gone through and said, hey, I don't want to just try this for free. I want to actually use all the features of it. So I have this powerful AI tool that is helping me uh, generate these social videos very quickly to help promote my podcast. You can use it to help promote your podcast or your corporate videos, anything else you do that's audio or video. Memento.fm does the same thing. Hope you enjoyed this. Click on the link uh, in the uh, notes here or in the caption here to go through and try Memento.fm. And thanks for being a fan and follower of the Marketing Podcast Network.